my name is Shakuntla and I'm from the Bay Area and I'm currently a first year at Berkeley. Um, I'm intending to major in MCB, which is molecular cell biology. And I attended Cosmos in 2019 at Irvine and I was in cluster one. So Cosmos has, I believe they have nine clusters um, and the clusters range on like a bunch of different topics in STEM. Um, most of the clusters in Irvine are like surrounding biology um, and there are a lot of engineering clusters too. And the cluster I was in was basically on proteins. So we studied proteins. We had two professors. And when I did Cosmos in 2019, it was the first year that our professors were doing um, the program. So it was a little bit unstructured, but I believe they have like a proper curriculum now. Um, you can like read on all the different clusters. There's like four campuses and it really doesn't matter which campus you go to. They're all pretty much the same. They're under the same board. Um, and just like look into the ones that you're most interested in. Our program was four weeks. It was like the first time they had our clusters. So it was a little bit unstructured, but basically what we would do was every day we got up and then all of us walked to like a building they booked for us, like a room they booked for us. And a professor would like lecture us on different topics and like assign us readings about what we were researching. So our cluster was basically researching on like a protein called APKC. We were like trying to mimic an enzyme um, that was revolving cancer. So we kind of lectured on basic bio and chem topics, especially because a lot of us are high schoolers. So we don't have like that advanced knowledge on these topics and they kind of break it down in terms of chem and bio and how everything works. We decided what amino acid to change in like a sequence of DNA. And we kind of worked on like a lab and we like made our own proteins and we learned a lot of bio techniques like gel phosphorylization and just being able to see if our experiment worked. Um, I think it was my cluster was a bit more hands on. I know a few other cl clusters, they kind of just jumped into like they had a short thing on coding and then they just jumped into like doing their projects. But for us, we had a lot more like lecturing and reading, which personally I like because it helped me like understand how to read papers, which is like a lot of what you do when you work in a lab later. For Irvine, it's random rooming. You can like pick a roommate but I went random because I just didn't know anyone going to the program. Um, and you live in the, you live in a residential hall and it's a suite. And I believe all the buildings are with your gender in them. Um, so like male or female, I'm not sure about like other, I, I don't think they had for other like non-identifying. Socially, I like the, they had a lot of mixer activities for people, but again, I kind of didn't like how they like divided it by gender because I feel like it was a little bit hard um, to like just become friends with people who weren't the same, like who weren't female or who weren't male identifying or female identifying. Um, and then you also got to mix with your cluster. Um, and we all kind of ate together. I think it was mostly you ate with your cluster for lunch and then breakfast and dinner you can get with your friends. Um, I like met a bunch of girls in my building. So that was kind of nice. And I'm still in touch with them like to today. Um, like I Zoom them all the time. And like um, one of my friends like wanted an internship. So like I hooked them up. So I think it's like a really good program if you're like looking to build a community because you're kind of building a community with a lot of like-minded individuals who are also in a similar area to, to you. So even when you go to college, like you can find a like college roommate or like college friends. A lot of people in my Cosmos program actually go to Berkeley. So like, for example, this year when I was like trying out for a bunch of clubs, like I saw a lot of people from Irvine and it was just like something that we were like, hey, you went to Cosmos at Irvine, like, and we kind of hop from there and like we talk and stuff like that. I really can't point out many like bad things about the program, but I feel like the best part of the program for me was just being able to work with a bunch of people who are my age in a lab. I also like interned at a lab separately at like UCSF, but that wasn't with anyone like my age. There were a few undergrads at our lab, but I really like how you're just able to like work with people your age um, and learn about something that you're not really able to learn about at school and finally like present it. It's like a really fun activity, but also it adds to your resume later. 
um, in the future, when you want to look, like work at a lab, when you give people like your poster at Cosmos, they kind of look at it and it's like something you have under your boat. But other than that, just like learning about different topics was great. I guess the one thing I don't, I guess I didn't like at Cosmos is I feel like I wish they would allow you to apply to clusters in different campuses because some, like for me, I liked a cluster at Davis and one at Irvine, but I just wasn't, wasn't able to apply to that because you have to only apply, like choose one campus to apply to. I chose Irvine. I think I mainly chose it because I just liked two of the clusters a little bit more. And there was like more biology clusters, especially because I wanted to go into like pre-med and biology. Um, I also just like the location. I like in Cosmos, you do like a bunch of trips. I'm not sure because of Zoom, it's going to be different. But in the case that you do go back to normal, there's a bunch of trips that we go on. And I just liked the social aspect, like they took us to the beach and they took us to the zoo, which was really fun. And they're memories I still have today. And I like to have my Polaroids on my wall too, which is like cute. I believe it was like $4,000 that you also have to pay to apply, but they do give funding to people who are like unable to. Um, and I'm pretty, I think they were kind of generous. Like I know quite a few individuals who are unable to afford it, but if you are, you can always reach out and they will accommodate towards your needs. Personally, I didn't really have any expectations. It was like the first summer program I went to. And before going to Cosmos, I worked at a lab and working at a lab as a high schooler is like, I think it's a little bit more flexible where you're kind of able to do whatever you want to do and like make a fit, whatever you want to make of it. I don't, I didn't, I don't think I expected them to be as hands-on just because I didn't know I would like have the knowledge to be able to do like experiments. But like after they lectured us and we were actually able to like carry on our own experiments, I kind of found it, I guess, exceeding my expectations a little bit because I didn't expect them to like give, let us be as free, but I really appreciate that they did because I feel like it also let me learn about teamwork and like adapting to what your team wanted because when you're working in the real world, you're not able to just like do whatever you want. You have to listen to everyone else in your group and like contribute equally, which I learned a lot from Cosmos. So I talked about Cosmos in my essays and I think it was something like I could like talk about and also something that helped me like learn what I wanted to do in a career. I know like a few of my friends at Cosmos, they were like in a bio cluster or like they were in a computer science cluster where they were coding and after going there, they kind of realized it wasn't something they were interested in. So I feel like it kind of helps you to like discover what you wanna do in a career, especially cause we're so young and we have so much time. Like even when you go to college, you're not gonna know automatically what you wanna do and that's totally okay. Um, also, I feel like it does help in the sense that it kind of adds something to write about and something that you kind of are passionate about. Um, and going to Cosmos definitely helps to like get into a lab in the future or like get into an internship in the future, which is what a lot of students at colleges do. If you're gonna apply to Cosmos, I would say start early because I think the first cycle, it's like your first time kind of applying to like a program in the way you do for Cosmos with like a rec letter and like, essays and also just like be honest in your application when our professors were talking about how they chose people to get into the program it's not really about your grades and your stats but it's just they're looking for people who are open to learn so when you're writing your application just like talk about how you're really passionate about the topic and how you want to learn and what you're going to gain instead of kind of flaunting what you already have